good competition today. More physical, more intensity, really good back and forth with the offense and the defense, good execution on special teams. And I thought we put some money in the bank today. Did you see a jump from the previous scrimmage to this one? I did. The tackling was better. I thought there, there was no doubt about the, the, the competition from you know, play in and play out was, was uh, much more consistent. And uh, the execution was better on both sides of the ball. Are there any players or positions that really jumped out to you today? Well, I'll say this. Our offense and defensive lines were, were pushed today. We're down with some guys because of injuries. Some guys are banged up. And I uh, want to give a lot of credit to those guys for really pushing through and so we could continue to scrimmage and play. And they sucked it up and, and gave a really good effort. Feel good about that. Coach, a lot of players will describe your philosophies heavily being centered around physicality, toughness. I mean, for the linebackers specifically on your roster, how have they kind of answered the call, including today's uh, scrimmage uh, in that regard? It all starts with being in, in the best condition that we can be in. And then the next thing is we have to be physical. And um, on both sides of the ball, at every position, I mean, you can measure the toughness of your team um, by how your wide receivers block and how your, how your corners tackle. In terms of our linebackers, I saw guys step up and hold and strike guys. We need to do a better job of making sure ball carriers don't fall forward. We want to strike them and knock them back and gang tackle and swarm. The guys understand that that's, they describe my style of coaching as that's because that's just the way it needs to be. And that's the way the game needs to be played. And in order to have the type of program that we need to do, we are going to have, you know, physical, hard-nosed football has is, is got to be the, the foundation. Are uh, your guys on both sides of the, of the ball, are they starting to react better to calls and what the defense calls and what the offense calls, more instinctively rather than having to think about it? I see guys playing faster, and that's because they know, they know more of what to do and how to do it. There's more communication on both sides of the ball. Um, and so you know, that's a good thing. Guys tend to uh, communicate more because they have more of an awareness of what's going on. And so um, I think we've gotten better. I'm really interested to see, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to see how we come out next week. <laughs> that was my next question. We, we've got meetings on Monday. we got meetings tomorrow. I really, I mean, I can't wait to see how we come out and how we practice on Monday because really that's what it's all about. We have to continue to get better. We can't relax. We can't take a step back. We have to continue to push. Was there any kind of different intensity um, or different for you just being out in, uh, out in Folsom as opposed to the practice field today? Different the, intensity with the team? The players were excited to get on the field today. I could tell that. They, they took the field with enthusiasm and focus, with a sense of urgency, and I felt really good. And um, I felt energized and inspired to step on, on, our, on our game field today. Is it ever frustrating as a coach, you have to preach physicality, to field a successful team, and some people might misinterpret that, that you're kind of throwing caution to the wind in terms of player safety? No, there's no frustration on my part. That's to be expected. It's a culture change in terms of how we have to play the game of football. And we have great coaches and coach um, with a tremendous amount of emphasis on technique and player safety. At the end of the day, football is a physical game and it's a collision sport. And uh, it's up to, uh, to us as coaches to do every, everything we can to make sure that these guys practice um, in a safe environment and we get better. Um, full speed contact drills, but with player safety 
um, in the forefront of our minds. What do you feel like Ronnie Blackman adds to your secondary? He's very competitive. He's got he has good experience. He's got a chip on his shoulder, and those are things that that's what you need to have to play defense. He's kind of moving around a little bit back there. He's got position versatility. He plays corner. He can play inside in the, in the slot at the start position. And there's a lot of jobs open, and there's nothing set in stone. So we just have to continue to make the most of our opportunities. And guys that have position versatility, they really help the depth of, of your of your team. Coach, how do you feel Bo Bisharat's been transitioning to the, the tight end position since the switch? He embraced it, and I, he sees where he can help. He can help himself, and he can help us. He's a, he's a good athlete, and he can he can run and he can catch. And we're going to use tight ends in our offense, and so we need guys that can do what he can do. He has the skill set. Thanks, coach. Thanks, coach.